Today we're sitting with Representative Earl Harris of East Chicago, and Representative Harris has served in the legislature for several years. He's seen a lot of changes, and he's known a lot of folks. Before we start, could you tell us about Congresswoman Katie Hall? Um, absolutely. Uh, Katie uh, was here uh, for a few years here in, in the state legislature, and she did a great job, but she went on to spend some time in Congress. Now, uh, even the short time that she was there, she managed to get the Martin Luther King bill through. As we were struggling here in the, uh, the state of Indiana to get it through, she managed to get that bill through in Congress. So I think that uh, that was such a great achievement uh, at that particular time uh, because you know, civil rights move year after year after year, so it was kind of a, a struggle. But she managed to, to bring it home, and I thought that was a great job. And, and, and we managed to get it through here in the uh, state of Indiana. Uh, so uh, uh, she, she has a mark in history. And a, a first, too. Being yeah, first. yeah, yeah. Being the first. Being the first. And then when you go on down the line, you, you, you talk about the other things. You talk about the, the late Julia Carson and what she did. Uh, she just made her mark everywhere she, she stopped. She replaced a, 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 a great congressman, which was the late uh, Jacobs uh, and the Jacobs, and, and, and she didn't miss a beat. Mm -hmm. She moved on and she did a tremendous job. Her voice was a voice that everybody heard, everybody recognized, and she pushed the agendas that was so important to the Afro-American history and the Afro-American future. So she did a great job. So I, there was uh, uh, many things here that I think we have to celebrate in the state of Indiana. And that, when we jump and, 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 and start to talk about the present time, um, you know, we have Bill Crawford that just retired. Bill was a real force in this legislature. And he did this for not quite 40 years, but almost 40 years and still doing it. So right here in Indianapolis, he, he, he served well and did great things. So I think we have a lot to be proud of, of, of black history uh, here in the state of Indiana. And, and the state of Indiana have a lot of history. They contributed uh, uh, more so in, than many states were doing uh, the Underground Railroad time and this was one of the stops. So, they, you know, Indiana contributed some. Now, it does not mean that we don't have a long ways to go because we do. But uh, Indiana has been sort of a force in, in many ways when we start to talk about what has gone on in this country in the black history struggle. It's appropriate we talk about Julia Carson and Bill Crawford because we're sitting beneath a photo. Of the <laughs> yeah, <movie>. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, both of them are miss. Uh, Bill is still working and contributing. So uh, I, I, I tell you, both of them had voices and they had great efforts. I think when we start to talk about what it's, what's been achieved, we, we, we got to talk about the efforts and the people that have really given the efforts. So those people that I forementioned are people that just gave great efforts in this struggle. And now that Andre Carson is carrying on her vision. Yeah, Andre is there and he's carrying on her vision. And like I said, it, it, it's, it's, it's quite an effort, so the struggle just continues. But uh, Indiana, you know, you have your ups and downs and sometimes you take one step forward and two step backwards, but you, you keep on plugging. So these are people that have worked hard and uh, still works hard for uh, uh, the vision that uh, uh, this country should have and some of us in this country do have in order to get to be right at the top of everything. And I think Indiana has the potential to do that. 